Hello everyone. Welcome to another Ben Plays live stream. I'm Kevin McAllister, community manager here at Ben Studio, and we have today. I'm the QA manager. <laughs> I'm Paul McFadden. Welcome, Paul. Uh, thank you. You might see me sometimes in the chat as some dude Tempest. Um, that's usually me dropping some words of wisdom, trying to help Kevin not only in games but in life. Yes. You know, and your words of wisdom have really helped. Yeah. They've tr transcended my life. Really? Yeah. Been able to get to the next level of godhood, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Kind of, kind of like going from Greek to Norse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ignore the moo bot in chat. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not supposed to be there. Um, hello. Yes. Welcome. So tonight we are playing God of War Ragnarok. We are playing just the first two hours of the story so there will be no spoilers after that and for a little bit of context i have played through the story i have platinumed it and paul has also platinum god of war ragnarok so but don't worry we will give no spoilers after you know after the two hour mark so starting fresh new save and we're just gonna enjoy it um what how was your what did you feel when playing god of war ragnarok what was your overall reaction so one of the things uh that i really loved about the god of war story in just taking on norse mythology is that they effectively in the first game the 2018 release they kind of wrote loki out of the normal myths and everything that you knew and then so they had to they had full creative liberty to do really cool things um, to kind of, you know, button up those holes in the, in the gap. And then also introduce a character as uh, Loki. And so it, it's, it was really fun to see kind of these retellings of um, stories that I knew um, and had read before, and then seeing them told in a different way. And then this was kind of the culmination all, of all of that. Because um, as we know, Ragnarok happens, and in all of the other in all the other myths and stuff. So, um, so it was really great to to kind of experience this in a different light um, through different lenses, and uh, it was just a very very enjoyable experience for me. Um, I loved all of the story elements along the way, so I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So, uh, and I hope nobody else spoils any of it for any players out there that want to get into the game, because um, it's worth it. Yes, I'm a huge Viking fan, Norse mythology fan, so being able to see Kratos in this type of world has just been super awesome. Like, um, I, I've been getting more into like the Greek mythology, but the Norse mythology is where it's at, right? So like, I loved having in 2018 Kratos enter this realm, and immediately that got me that got me pumped to just like experience this new Kratos in this new world. And Ragnarok is epic; it's just amazing. Uh, you know, cr yeah. Congrats again to Santa Monica Studio on the launch. We have some friends over there; yep. they're all awesome and great people. And yeah, let's uh, let's get yeah. to it, huh? Well, I, yeah, I saw an article today that this is their most successful launch of a God of War title. That's awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, they they earned it uh, for sure. Yeah. So. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started at the very beginning of God of War Ragnarok. And yes, we we finished it early because uh, we got a early code from Play from PlayStation, so we were able to kind of. Uh, beat it before it even launched. So we were lucky enough to, you know, yeah. kind of jump in early. Yeah, we were actually kind of racing each other on the Platinums. Uh, Kevin won. I won. He won by an hour. He definitely, <laughs> he definitely beat me. Um, so but we're going to get started with the recap, uh, you know, just to just wet our feet a little bit before yeah. Fimble Winter sets in. Let's watch the God of War 2018 recap. Because why not? Dakota, hey, what is up? Dakota is one of the community managers at Santa Monica Studio. Say hi to him. Hi, Dakota. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders. Trust me. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes, but no longer. There's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. First, you need to cut off. I'm honestly about to just jump into 2018 again. 
I did that beforehand on PC. Uh, the PC port was really good. Um, and so I, I replayed that one, had a lot of fun with it. Nice. Um, and uh, I actually enjoyed this game as much that I will probably install the game on the PS4 and then re-get the Platinum on the PS4 so I can have two Platinums because uh, I had such a good time. Yeah, I'm thinking about the same thing, honestly. <laughs> so, like, if we were smart, we would have done it on the PS4. And then you could transfer the save over and then you just would pop all the trophies. Mm. But no, nah, instead we get to experience Ragnarok all over. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Bubs, how are you? Welcome back. Final Corgi, welcome back. Nice to see you all. KJ Games, how are you doing? And did you platinum the 2018 God of War? Of course. Yeah. Of course. The Valkyrie fights, those were the tough ones. Man. That, that queen. Yeah. Right. So how many times did you have the squirrel, like, revive you? Oh, a lot. Yeah. That squirrel was my best friend. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. It's party time. You know it. We're starting. What, 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 are, we get, where are we going here? We're just going to do balance. Yes. Just, just for a fun adventure. That way, if I want to talk... I'm not too worried about getting smoked Dying. by enemies. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, still happen. Foxcat, hello. Shank, welcome back. Darren, hello. Jovopai, how are you? Welcome back, all the friendly faces. Thank you for joining us. I just love how the, the main menu just, just goes... Right into the right, game. I love yeah. that. Game of the year. I, I'm, I'm going to have to agree. <laughs> like... I loved Horizon Forbidden West. It's also one of my favorites. And it's and having them in God of War Ragnarok drop in the same year. Wasn't Elden Ring also this year? Elden Ring was also this year. Yeah. yeah. What? We had some bangers this year. Yeah. <laughs> like, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> um, I definitely enjoyed all three games for different reasons. Um, but I think just because of the overall love I have for Norse mythology, I think this one definitely does it the most for me same here yep of course bubs i remember you you hung out with us on extra life for like hours <laughs> thank you that was a that was a good stream yeah it's that was great a... great to have all the sony studios working together it was so much fun yeah there's there's boy boy And yes, I do have Kratos face paint on, if you could not tell. <laughs> Shout out to my wife for doing it this morning. <laughs> I've had it on literally all day. I just keep walking past him. I, I walked straight in front of Chris, our studio head. <laughs> he just laughs. laughs. Yeah. Or I go across to get lunch at food trucks, and people are just staring at me. They're like, yeah. what is this guy doing? What is up, Jaren? How are you? You go continue that playthrough, and you enjoy this very epic game. Oh yeah, and Stray. Stray released too. Did you play Stray? I did not. Oh really? Um, it's a fun little game. I'm trying to think, there's something else I was working on. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Well, yeah, I was wondering, Dan, why you didn't say anything. I was kind of disappointed actually, so thanks for not noticing me. That guy. You know, how do you work with him all the time? <laughs> Honestly, man, sometimes it's good. He knows when we're, it's, it's not about having a conversation. It's just about getting back to work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the talker. Dan, you are awesome. Yeah, Dan's the walker. Talker and the walker. I like it. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to shave my head. Just not. I, I, like, I like my hair too much. Maybe I'll do the, like, bald cap. Because I would love to cosplay as Kratos, right? Yeah. You know what? Uh, our launch party, I think it was, um, we had uh, one of our, uh, like, our weapons prop guy, Brian Pape, actually did a bald, like, he actually did a bald cap um, with all of the boozer uh, oh, nice. uh, tattoos. That's cool. So... Thank you, Shank. Thank you. <laughs> <Ready>. <laughs> you. You thought the same 
face paint from uh, Extra Life stayed on all the way till now. <laughs> <laughs> no, see that one was like a pink clown color. So now we got the actual red color. And the scar, like my wife did really well in the scar. Like, yeah, it's right? pretty good. Yeah. Like it looks like I was actually in battle. I was not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if we're getting into the, the weeds about your home life. But, uh, I mean, having how many? Three kids? Three kids. Yeah. Two dogs. I mean, yeah. And you, a cat. You never know what's going to get thrown yeah. at you, what's going to get knocked off exactly. the shelf. Yep. Like, Cats are fierce. Yeah. You know? Or my, so. my one dog just gets so excited when I come home. Like, she yeah. just can't contain herself and she starts jumping everywhere. It's the cutest thing. But it's just like, you need to chill for a yeah. second, just for a second. Yeah. Oh, I love this part. Is it hurt? And we got to see this in the trailer. Yep. Like how far Kratos has came from the very beginnings of his, you know, story in the Greek mythology, where he would have, he would have fought her immediately, right? But instead, yeah. he's like, I choose not to fight you. Chat, have you played Ragnarok at all yet? Have you started it? If so, how f are you, how many hours are you in? Are you a couple hours in? No spoilers, chat. No spoilers. Well, I'm serious. Like, I, I just want to jump back in again. Like, it's all I'm thinking about lately. I finished it. I just want to keep playing it. Yeah, you know, and it was it was pretty interesting because it's kind of like um, the way that the launch of this came out. Like, at least here in Bend, you know, there was supposed to be the Blood Moon, but yeah. we didn't get to see it because it was snowing. <laughs> right. So, like, we had this nice early uh, snow, like, literally right after Halloween, it was just instant, like, welcome to Fimble Winter. Yeah. Balder died on Halloween, apparently. <laughs> so <laughs> Some epic PlayStation marketing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, how was that... Uh, that tr uh, the trailer with uh, Ben Stiller and oh my gosh. LeBron James. That was fantastic. Yeah. Just seeing like faces like that talk about games, right? Like it's just yeah. so cool. John Travolta having a yeah. time trying to take notes. <laughs> yeah. That scream right there. <laughs> Called the whole avalanche. Yeah. Let's see. Shank, uh, almost 10 hours for me. Nice. Uh, Bubs, 20 hours. Cool. Be freshness. What is up? Haven't played any of the God of War, really. You need to jump on. You need to jump on. It's incredible. At least start at 2018. Passion Flower, welcome back. Sam Can Bandman. He has returned to chat. <laughs> Played 45 minutes. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. Zaz 2.0. Haven't played it yet? I live. <laughs> Spartan Warrior, what is up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. The, the voice cast that they picked for this is excellent, by the way. Yes. Every everyone's every single person. Yeah. Yeah. And they even use the same uh, same one for Atreus, even though in four years he hit puberty. <laughs> yeah. They kind of had to. I'm sure they did some kind of magic. Um, maybe someday they'll do some kind of developer blog to talk about right. uh, that one. I got it. This is a great moment right here. Yeah, his voice really changed from the first game to this one. Yeah. The writing, honestly, some of the best writing I've seen in gaming. Like, just 
just I can't speak highly more highly about this game from it's just it's got everything you want in a sequel it it builds from 2018 it's very cohesive to 2018 but it's like it's God of War 2018 2.0 like it just it's incredible yeah yeah it is one of those where absolutely the and here the proud father face right oh, I love that right yeah. there <laughs> yep yeah <laughs> without saying it that's a well done boy yeah <laughs> so that little smirk we never have we ever got a creative smirk in a game like um that. maybe in like the very first one after he killed Ares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a totally different smile. <laughs> right. But yeah, seeing that, I I smiled as soon as I seen it. I'm like, yes, that is awesome. Yeah. Dan Izzo, what is up, my man? How are you? Welcome. You're okay. I know. I missed you too. So I had both my dogs curled up on the couch. <laughs> With me at this point. Yep. I. It was hard fighting back tears for this one. Have you played any yet, Dan? Have you played any God of War Ragnarok? I also would be curious to see some of the mocap. Uh, you know, from this. Oh, yeah. Like, there's, uh, I'll just say people are sitting around eating food. And I'm just wondering if there's a whole bunch of people actually just at a table in their mocap suits. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, look, at we got the Leviathan Axe here. Yes. We've got one of the uh, Blades of Chaos. We have all, yeah, we have <laughs> Mjolnir. I got this with my Jotnar edition here. It's freaking beautiful. So much detail. It's like, it's got weight to it. It surprises me. Then, I'm so scared I'm going to drop it. Yeah, then this one actually, um, Ron Allen, our game director, actually had the Chains of Olympus here, Blade, um, at his house. I was able to convince him to bring it in <laughs> so he could set it up for the stream. That's awesome. So, then we, someone just had that one lying around. Yep. So we just grabbed it. I'm gonna hold it right here. Like Like watching that whole thing play out. And if you had, if you've had a dog in your real life and you've experienced like, you know, having to put a dog down, like this hits a lot. And yeah. like immediately brought me back to my dog, Sadie, uh, that, you know, we had to put her down near, uh, right after Days Gone launched. So like immediately that's where my head went, right? It's like, ah. Oh. This is how you're starting me off, God of War. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Getting a gut punch. Yep. Come. Yeah, thank you. We we pretty much have we have all the uh the weapons here now. Like we're ready. We're re we're ready for Ragnarok. Like literally and figuring it. I don't know if this would do much damage to an actual troll. <laughs> kind of a it's not like the metal metal one yeah the Mjolnir yeah, that might do something that one seems pretty heavy what for yeah tracing is all we ever do ever it's not enough we can't hide forever Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. And oh my God, Whatever Christopher Judge to as Kratos. To be doing it now. Like I thought he killed it in 2018. His words. performance even transcends in this one. Yeah, it's like he had a little bit more time with the role. Yeah. So it's like really, you know, got it. But I, what I thought was interesting is 
um, Corey Barlog had talked about, you know, in, after 2018, um, that uh, Judge was like one of his top five people that he would like to have. That's cool. Um, and then when they sat down, like with the casting agent, she said like, here's kind of the five people, and he was in it. Mm. And so like that was the only one of the five that was like in his list. He was like, that one, let's start there. That's awesome. And it talked about the relationship of he had done it before, didn't really have a good relationship. And then Corey Barlog's experience did not have a good relationship with other people who came from Hollywood to kind of be in this. And so they both kind of talked and were like, let's just do it right together. And, yeah, you know, it's been great. And they also made sure to get a line in for Indeed, him saying Indeed. Yes, I love that. Um, <laughs> I love that. You know, just as a note, uh, the nod to SG-1. Yep. So. Be fresh, just no, I have not seen the new John Wick trailer yet, but I, I, I need to, because I love myself some Keanu Reeves. Dude is a legend. Yeah. Who is screaming out there? <laughs> you, really, you really don't know? Oh, I do know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to being on the second floor, you know? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mimir just chilling there. Well, he looked like, you know, he's trying to write down all of the stories that's yeah. in his head, you know. How's the lad taking it? Well. Love how they just show the Blades of Chaos immediately. Which they do in 2018, but they're covered up, right? If yeah. you, if well, they're, really they're, they're under the, yeah. oh, right. the ground, so it's kind of a... But there's kind of like, yeah, like there's a look over to it, like, hey, yep. is that... You know. But you don't notice it until, yeah. you know, the second playthrough. It's like, oh, there's a little cloth to it. Yeah. Which they did a lot of that in 2018. They had the big, the big stone behind his house with the runes. Actually was like how the story played out. If you, if you go back to it, like after you finish playthrough, it's like, oh, you can see... Like how the mural is at the very end of 2018, it's like it's just like that, but it shows you like the entire game in that yeah. one rock. It's, I love how they did that, and like you know, you just don't pick that up. Yeah, it's kind of like in uh, um, Iron Man, the first one, the terrorist that kidnapped Tony Stark. Um, the language that they're speaking, they actually say um, that Obadiah is the one that has right. paid them. Mm, right. So they give away who the bad guy is, but because you don't don't know the language, yeah, you don't know that he's the bad guy. Are you joining me? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, hello, good sir. No, but dude, this is this is an upgrade, okay? You see it? You see my face? Right. My wife did it this morning. I've had it on all day. Because uh, Extra Life feels like a pinkish color. We're, we're at red now. We're a little bit more like Kratos now. And I have weapons. I have so many weapons. Weapons everywhere. <laughs> right there, I took a, I took a picture... I put it on that bird app. It's about to explode. Yeah. <laughs> you can see yeah. it there. <laughs> the order of things. Your words are misguided. Good. That makes me feel young then, so thank you. It's okay, little one. We want to help. <laughs> Seeing Faye immediately in the beginning of the story was awesome. Yeah, it surprised me. Um, but and just seeing Kratos like just be with her, like it's this uh, it's such a cool thing. It was not yeah. our concern. Now it is. Yes, yeah, as the hammer is freaking incredible. Like I'm so happy. Uh, I got lucky enough to pre-order the Yotnar edition and get it. Uh, both, Aaron. Both. <laughs> I don't think I could potentially shave my beard because my beard grows by grows 
incredibly fast where like it would just be like the next day my beard would be back but my head that concerns me bald cap yes i i do need to do a bald cap and do a full on kratos cosplay and maybe do a year of like bulking I like, up i like this part too that she's also strong enough to move the right the tree something little but yeah. it's like yes I, what's also interesting is if you listen to the way that he talks to her um, it's also similar like he's very consistent in the character because it's the same way that he also talks to Atreus yeah and the things that um, Atreus says almost sounds like Faye right like even though you know mom wasn't around the whole time still uh, still did that so Three weeks, Aaron. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. <laughs> the agent of doom in chat. He's a senior community manager at Insomniac Games. So go send Insomniac some love. Brother. So what? What do you think that? Do you think is that just a dream? It look feels. It feels more than a dream. So. There's one particular dream sequence that you can find in uh, the 2018 game mm -hmm. yep. of him being dragged by a wolf. And there is a person basically kind of cloaked um, and that's kind of like almost guiding the wolves. And so it's... There's kind of the internet belief, right? And no one said anything from SMS, but um, basically that Faye was guiding um, a couple of wolves to drag him to, uh, to basically Midgard. Hmm. So that's like how he transferred over. Um, and so based on Faye's powers of um, being able to see like the giant magic, um, could he have gone from here? There's kind of that, uh, you know, idea that she you. probably was able to do some sort of projection right. in, through dreams. Um, and then there's something else that I'd like to talk about, but it would, it would go into spoiler territory. Yes, we don't want to do so, that. Um, also, great use of the uh, adaptive triggers uh, here, where you can actually feel it click in the second time yep. when it does the full swing. Um, I do appreciate that it's not that way through the entirety of the game because I feel like if you were constantly having to pull on the trigger the full way and feeling that resistance, your fingers would get tired. Yeah, yep. So you wouldn't be able to do some long gamer se sessions. So. Yes, thank you, Dan. Our guest today is Paul McFadden, our QA manager here at Ben Studio. Yeah. I think the last time you were on was the launch of Horizon Forbidden West, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Which seems like last year. It does. And we were even in a different room then. A whole different room. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even have sound on the TV at the time. Yeah. yeah. How far we've came. <laughs> yes. Happy Veterans Day to anyone who has served. We thank you. And yes. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Awful news today. Very sad. Was that not last year? I don't... It wasn't, right? Horizon Forbidden West came out this year, right? It was... I, yeah, I believe it was early this year. Yeah, yeah. February. It came out in February, right? Because that's when... Yeah, it was yeah. right around Elden Ring. Time. Yep. Yeah, Horizon Forbidden West came out late February, and then Elden Ring came out like a week after. Dude, I won't even attempt to play this on Give Me God of War. I was getting my butt kicked and on balance. <laughs> yeah, so one thing to note, I'm pretty sure at least they did it in um, 2018, is if you did the god the highest difficulty, um, you didn't get to use Atreus. Really? Yeah, so like you just had to play without buddies, basically. Ooh. Now I know if you 
if you beat Gimme God of War 2018, they, you got a, uh, a shield, a really cool shield from it. I never got that shield because I suck at video games, apparently. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't try either. After the Valkyrie Queen and getting the, the Platinum, I was like, you know, I've had enough of getting the floor wiped with yep. my face. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's squeaky clean by now. <laughs> yeah, <right. So. laughs> Man, that queen. I don't know how many times I, I uh, you know, attempted her, and she was just kicking my butt so many times. I think at one point I knocked it down the easy, and I was still getting my kick butt. Yeah. Like, I just, I couldn't do it. But I did do it. I did do it. Perseverance. It helped. I do have the platinum. So I was looking, uh, I think God of War 2018 has 37 trophies, I believe, and Ragnarok has 36. Um, and the way the trophies are set up are kind of pretty cohesive to 2018. Kind of the same things, but um, maybe a little even bit more you kind of have to dig in Ragnarok for some things. Um, yeah. But I really liked the trophy list. It was, it was fun. Lee, what is up? How are you doing? We argued. He accuses me of hiding. I need to get myself one of these. It's <laughs> holding on to it menacingly the whole time. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'm going to let it go, actually. <laughs> feel like if I die, you're going to whack me with yeah, it. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to go into my Spartan rage. Yeah. Yeah, that, that queen, I think, was a nightmare for us all. <laughs> but, like, obviously, you know, people are still talking about the queen, right? So, like, yeah. it was hard, but it was, it was fun. Yeah, Sam, enjoy the Platinum Run on this game. It's fun. Explore a lot. Exploring is very rewarding in Ragnarok. I felt like everything I did in this game had a purpose and gave me a reward for something and it just it felt satisfying. There he is. Aaron, you need to go platinum that game right now. Get <laughs> off the stream and go platinum 2018. Jeez, my man. I beat you to the Ragnarok Platinum. I had the 28 Platinum. You don't, you're scared of playing Elden Ring. <laughs> yep, and I do have Mimir on my hip. You just can't see it in the camera. Indeed. Indeed. Yes, Dakota from Santa Monica Studio. What a great people. Would heavily recommend exploring and taking time to do the side quests. They're my favorite part of the game. You know, I agree. The side quests, uh, side quests in 2018 were great. There was, I, there was limited amount, but this I feel like there's more. There, I feel like they even doubled down from 2018, and they're rewarding. You get like really cool story beats to them. Like, do the side quest. They're amazing. Yeah, you actually really learn a lot about uh, Mimir. Yeah. Uh, in the, in yep. some of the backstories. And some other characters as well. Yeah. You really get to learn more. It's, uh, I just, they give you so much great lore. It's, it's amazing. Torches. And the trail leads into that cave. Yep, I just want to go home and play it again. So I love this part where he's like, I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. And almost every person is going to come up. Oh, right. <laughs> and Mimir's just like, eh, I yep. guess we're not going to go quiet. <laughs> I think I, I laughed a lot during this game. Yeah. Like, I, I did not expect that. From multiple, from Kratos, from Mimir, like, they yeah. had me laughing. <laughs> I know that there was, like, one particular part that made me laugh really hard in the 2018 version um, is when uh, you finally get down inside Tyr's temple and you get down into the bottom and Kratos sees, um, you know, him, like a vase of himself on it and he breaks it. And 
he's and then um, Atreus says something along the lines of like, yeah, I guess you do have a thing for smashing pottery. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I like these raiders enemies. They're like, uh, I guess they're like the basic human enemies, kind of. But I like the style of them. They they feel like uh, Vikings, right? Like some yeah. berserker Viking type things. They're really strong. Uh, I thought they were kind of fun to fight. Because like in 2018, in the beginning, we we're facing a lot of Draugrs right away, right? Yeah. And this one, we're facing a lot of the raiders right away in the beginning. Yeah, and it, and it kind of makes sense um, in that you're basically two years after the death of uh, of Baldur. So Fimble Winter is set in for two years. Yep. And so you're yeah, there's people that are still trying to find ways to survive this harsh, you know, never summer type environment. You and Santa Monica Studio have anything in common? Yes, we're both under PlayStation Studios. And we're awesome. And we're both awesome. Above your fire. Oh. That one's got a sling. Look out, brother. Left line. I can call us awesome, right? Yeah. Wait, are you laughing at me? <laughs> oh, can I get him? Yeah, in time. Serving up Ooh. decap Ooh. latte. Ah. Kratos just destroying people. You also, are. You I, are. I do like this one, too. Just a straight kick to the... What button is that? It's just R2 when you don't... Oh, don't oh when you don't have... Okay. Yeah. So, in some ways, uh, you can still, you know, knock people off the edge. There's so much variety to the combat, and there's, like, so many systems to the combat between, like, the relics and the runic skills, and uh, there's another one, isn't there? What? Well, uh, um, the amu, amu the amulet, amulet. Yeah, yeah like there's so much to do yeah. so much to like you can really start getting in the weeds of stats and really kind of building out kratos to how you like uh which i think is really really cool Let's see so then i can kick him off death from above and then we can do a death from above ah. yeah. how distracting is this that's actually not too bad oh, okay the only time that it's ever weird is when it actually goes over the like it basically cuts the overhead lights uh, because then it's like something is actually flying over. Oh, right. <laughs> that's the only thing that's kind of weird. So, sorry, he had to uh, turn off the idle standby. Yeah, it's like TV. Obviously, we're using yeah. you right now, right? Like, Yeah, but you know, sometimes people will leave and it, so it's just yep. regardless, it's set up to turn the screensaver on. Mark Dickinson, hello, sir. How are you doing? Senior producer here at Ben Studio, welcome. Again. Did you see his uh, Wendy's employee photo? No. <laughs> it was great. I think I missed that. We appreciate it, Mark. Thanks for sharing that today. This is a very awesome room, Mark. The theater on level three. Probably be the last stream in here. Until we move back to the normal stream room, I would say. Uh oh, let me get whacked. Oh, I dodged it. Armor of Faith, welcome to God of War Ragnarok. Yes, it is such a wonderful game. We are in love with it here. So much so that we, we've brought weapons from God of War. It's a big bear. Yeah, not a little bear. No, not a little bear at all. Also, I just love how we could just fight a big bear like this. Yeah. Like, I don't, we didn't fight really any animals in 2018. I mean, you could say dragons. Oh, I mean, you shoot at a boar. Yeah. The trolls. The trolls. There's yeah, a lot of trolls. Yeah, you fight a lot of trolls. This man just throwing a bear around. I just love how you both like yeah. grabbed at the same time. Yeah. That was beautiful. Poetic, you could yeah. say. Uh, <laughs> so in, in 
in the Midgardian uh, realm, Mark, that is inaccurate. They are definitely trolls. <laughs> we are speaking on God of War lore here. Oh, I'm gonna eat this. Ooh. That. Brutal, this bear. Oh. Ooh. Backed in the corner. Ah. Oof. Gives Rager Bear vibes. <laughs> oh. There's three. Okay. Remember, in games, things are always done in threes. Always. How long do you think a Rager Bear would last to this bear? Um... I, I think it, this bear I think has the edge. Yeah. But um, I definitely think the Rager Bear would hold its own. Yeah. It is a beefy bear. How long would Yogi Bear last with this bear? Probably not long. Not at all. Yeah. Not, not at all. Ooh, this, Rune Bear. That's a good one. Say this bear uh, does not have any pic picnic baskets for anybody. No. Like this, then, yeah, then me. Ooh. Poor Mimir, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? Atreus. 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 This got me, like... He just beat down that bear, right? And yeah. Then you go, like, what? So I do like this, that he's, like, taught the healing thing. Yeah. Which happens, and you see that immediately in 2018. Yep, when yeah. When Kratos fights Baldur. Yeah, the, uh, the stranger at that time. But yep, yes. yep. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect this when I, I fought the bear. So in Norse mythology, um, the first creature that Loki ever turns into was a wolf. Yep. So what's funny is in 2018, when he's like, I'm a god, can I turn into a wolf? Yeah, I know. I love that. <laughs> um, that was kind of the first hint um, that it was Loki. Yep. Also, apparently, Jormungandr also refers to him as Loki. Yeah. Um, but since we don't speak the old tongue, mm. didn't know. We should learn. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but um, I loved the way too in this game that they wrap up Jormungandr's story. Mm, um, right. Actually, everyone's story gets wrapped up in a really great way. Yeah, it does. Um, I, I, I didn't so. know I should do that. This relationship between Kratos and Atreus, it really goes to another level this game. Like there's, no spoilers, but there was a time where I literally bawled my eyes out. Just from, you know, having a son of my own, it's like, I just cried. I'm like, you know, cried in my living room by myself at like midnight, because everyone's sleepy. <laughs> Dogs come and ask you what was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, End Times? How are you? Welcome to the chat. Uh, yes, we should, Sam. Thank you very much. There, are, there is Old Norse learning books to learn. Actually, I, I have wanted to do that yeah. just, just for the hell of it, you know? I think it would be super cool coming in here talking to Old Norse to everybody. Uh, apparently, that's Icelandic. Mm. That's like the most true to yeah. the original um, Viking because they just, you, you know, they weren't, they're not that influenced by uh, other cultures that often. So they, the language didn't kind of temper right. for any reason. So it, it's, you know, pretty much the same. That right there, when he turns his head, he goes, no, like that. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Kratos is really good at saying no. It's, it's with authority. Like, yeah. You don't want to be around Kratos when he says no. Yeah. And shout out to those beard physics of his beard blowing in the wind. That's just beautiful. 
There we go again. Click. Like last year when I had my beard super long, it would blow in the wind. It was probably the greatest feeling of my life. Yeah. Know? It was just, you can't explain it, Paul. You can't explain it. It's true. I don't let mine get that long. I trim it. That was the first time I've ever let it got that long. And it was an experience. Yeah. Not sure if I'll go back to it. Like Phil Wilson lets it grow and braids it, and it's a good look for him. Mm -hmm. um, more than happy to let him do that. <laughs> <laughs> also, we need to get uh, the God of War controller in here because the analog stick rubber's rubbing off on this. Yeah. I can tell we're starting to get uh, pretty low. I, I just ordered mine. Mine should be, I think it's shipped. I, think it's shipped. Uh, I got mine yesterday. Nice. Yeah, it was delivered and there when I got, got home from work. Is it a thing of beauty? It's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love the, the Bear and Wolf logo on it. I think that's super cool. Yeah. Yeah, I just ordered mine off our, our employee store uh, Wednesday. So I know it's shipped. I'm just itching. Yeah. I want it in my hands. <laughs> God of War is making me spend too much money. So thanks, Santa Monica, for that. <laughs> now I'm like going back and uh, like buying the comics I didn't read yet. Yeah. You know, it's like I can't, I can't help myself. I want the art book. Art book's not out yet. I think it comes out in December. Yeah. I want that. I mean, it is one of those things that is absolutely true. Like, you we're just, I'm just plowing through this tunnel, right? But it's like you can see how like these, you know, rocks are sculpted, and when yeah. you get to the buildings, you can see all the intricate, um, kind of you know, ornate nature to the wood that they've carved in, and it looks great. Like there's all this small attention to detail, and it's one of those things that's kind of sad because it's just so many things are going to go unnoticed, right? Because um, you're just playing the game. But yeah, um, take the time to you know, breathe it all in. Seriously. It's kind of the one of the advantages of when they do update Mad Photo Mode. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. Honestly, I'm trying to save my second playthrough for that. Uh, Santa Monica did say they will be uh, releasing a post-launch. So we need to stay tuned. But as soon as they do, I'm going back in. Yeah. That's why I'm trying. I'm, I'm so hungry to watch start a second playthrough. But I'm like, no, Kevin. <laughs> hold on. Wait until the photo mode comes. And yeah. then I can just snap away. And then that playthrough will be like 86 hours. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. I've got nothing else to play this year. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Like I said, I might just go back to 2018 tonight just to, you know, replay that story. Because it's, it's been a while. I mean, I think I, I think I finished that story like three or four times. Um, but honestly, for me... I think Ragnarok is my favorite out of the two, which is crazy to say, because 2018 has been one of my favorite games of all time, and now I think Ragnarok has surpassed that, but it's like, it's so close. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's, they did a good bye, job. Sam. Oh, bye, Sam. Have a great weekend, man. Yeah. Submit your time card. <laughs> <laughs> um... But the, uh, yeah, I think there's just so many things that, uh, what? this was also sad too. What yes. It's sad. Every time. Nothing. Um, will take its course. but. You lost where you were going. No, <laughs> it's, I'm trying, I'm trying to find a, the right way to say this. Um. I, I think that the story beats hit stronger in this one because the characters are truer to themselves. Mm. Um, and, and so it's, it's one of those where uh, it is a difficult thing because Kratos is not trying to become the person that he was previously. Right. Um, and yet it seems like the world is determined to pull him back into that. And you can tell that, right? Like. Like, is this all the God of War? You know, like, yep. you know, like it's it's kind of one of those things where, and so, in this one, I think there's a lot of um, that goes away, and people are essentially uh, 
you know, just becoming those characters. And so it things feel a little bit more real. Um, so I really, I really like the character development of that. And then there's also, I guess I'd say, like the twist and turns um, of the story in this mm -hmm. one. It was just a, a much more upgraded roller coaster. Hey, Scott, 3 po how are you doing? We also love this game very much, which is why we're streaming it. <laughs> yeah, if you entered late, uh, just a little context, me and Paul have already platinum this game, uh, but we're just playing the first two hours and we're not giving away any spoilers because we are very much against spoilers. Like, there's... If, if, you, if you're going to play the game, right? Like yes. If you're someone who's like, hey, I'm just not going to get around to it, I'm right. totally fine with it, then I'd love to, I'll, I'll, lo I'll talk your ear off about it. But um, uh, I don't think it's a very hard platinum. No. Um, do you think it you was can, about the same as 2018? I think it was easier. Yeah? Scared. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, I do. That's right. I'm trying to think of the... The ones for 2018 that I had a problem with. Like, I know there's one for, you know, finding all the ravens, which I think there were a few more in 2018. Uh, yeah, that's correct. There are more. And then, obviously, the Valkyries. Yeah. And I thought the Valkyrie fights were tougher than the other fights that you do in this game. Yeah. Um. That's right. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. I, I I think this one's easier. Um, I also think there's less uh, less stuff to find. I mean, granted, it is kind of fun to 100% all the different realms that you travel to. Yep. Which I did do that. Did you? Um, I, th I, I need to get two lore markers in Alfheim. Okay. And then I believe one Nornir chest in uh, Vanaheim. So sorry, those are spoilers of places you go, but... I think all the realms have already been... Yeah, have they already at least announced? Announced, I yeah. believe. But yeah, I, I got the Platinum, and then after the Platinum, I went and 100%ed the, the map. Yeah. And that was cool. Yeah. Also, Mimir dropped some very good life advice there. Yeah. Sometimes um, the best bridge between hope and despair is a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah. That? That's and why he says, hey, things are always brighter in the morning. Right. And here we go. This, if you play 2018 and you went back to your home after the story, it connects this right here. Yeah. Boom. Thor. I love, well. I love that so much. <laughs> What's up, Yozer? How are you doing? Welcome. Ah, I have it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll switch up now. I have me. I love this. I also think this is an interesting. Um, thing because in uh, the first one after when they're after they realize they have to flip the temple over yep um, and they're kind of riding the way up he pulls out like hey this is wine from my homeland mm -hmm. yeah and then like shares it with Atreus and so now there's just like this other like hey this is me, the, right. something of this homeland. Look how short Kratos is compared to Thor. Yeah. Like, Thor is ginormous. <laughs> well, he is half giant. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. And honestly, this is the best Thor in all of media. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Hurst plays this guy who also was in Sons of Anarchy. He was um, Alpha in The Walking Dead. Like, I love this guy. Yeah. It was a good cast, for yeah. sure. Can I get a drink here? I love how they just like, they're like sizing each other up right now. And then Atreus is like, uh, just put these cups here. If 
you had mead? Yes, of course. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, same here. Made my own. What? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty easy. I've heard. It's just essentially yeast and honey. Mm. And then Good. if you want to flavor it, you can do those things. But Why are you here? Just, uh, like the tension in this room right now. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> I just love Thor's look. I love how they designed him. Giving him the kind of that Norse mythology Nor Thor look, where he, you know, he's bigger. He's not the super, right. you know, hawked out one, right? It's yeah. He in really enjoys me. He's like, <laughs> I just feel like this one fits more to the Norse mythology one than like say other Thors in media. Yeah. Yeah. Beta, yes, beta is what I meant. Zaz. Alpha is the. Uh, she's the other one. I'm also very scared. I'm just gonna like drop this and like break it, and then I, I, I would cry. And here he is, the man himself. Also, if you notice, the ravens become tattoos on his arms. Did you notice that? Yeah, that was kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. You know who I, am. I loved his portrayal of Odin in this game too. Yeah, what's his name? Um, Robert, the Boyds, Robert Schiff. Yeah, that right. I think he plays the character yeah. Boyd or something. Like that. Yeah, but either way, yeah, either this guy was great too. Yeah, as the All Father. Self-defense. Dying is what you base your gifts on. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. <laughs> like I don't know, the the just the wet what he brings to this, where he's calm, but you feel like he's. Yeah, he's yeah, going to it, going to sure. snap. Like he has every chance in the world. Like he could just, I don't know. He's the all father of Norse <laughs> Norse mythology. Yeah. Well, I mean, either of them, right? Like, you have both of them at the table. Yeah. They can both reach over and grab Kratos. Right. right? Like. No fun anymore. Guess who's watching us right now? Tim Ward. Good. <laughs> hey, there he is. I see trailer Tim. There you are. <laughs> what is up, Trailer Tim? How are you? I did message him today. And said, and said, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna be on." This game is pretty good looking. Not gonna lie, Tim. Yep. Tim is a QA manager over at um, Santa Monica Studio. I've been hitting up Tim a lot lately. Yeah, I'm like, dude, this game is incredible, man. Like. That one has to stop his search for tear. Yes, Yozer, go finish 2018 and then come right and back and play this. <laughs> Bubs, good luck with streaming. It's fun, but technology wise can be a pain in the butt sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I keep telling Tim, you know, he's got to come up here and we'll take him to the axe throwing bar. Yes. Invitation on live right now, Tim. You have to come up here. I also really want to see Santa Monica. I've never seen their studio. I haven't either. Yeah? Yeah, I haven't been. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. Gosh, Mimir. Did you, so there's an audio book to the 2018 novelization. Was it narrated by him? It's narrated yeah. by Mir, and it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I bet. It's like I was listening to uh, Neil Gaiman's uh, Norse mythology. Oh, yeah. Like he actually narrates and he retells a lot of the stories. Yep. Um, and so it was kind of fun to, after listening to some of those things, to see what they Portrayed in this game, right? So, not gonna pass down the invite. To throw an axe, and not this axe. Yeah, I mean it would be super fun to throw this axe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it will come back to us though. <laughs> no. no, that is a good read. I enjoyed the audio version. Just hearing Mimir talk to 
<laughs> read the whole entire book. It was like you couldn't have picked a better narrator for that. Yeah. And that was written by um, Corey Barlog's dad, which yeah. is super cool. Yeah. that like look it just sitting on his throat yeah. this fight is so epic and here we are at the lake of the nine now boom we're back Instead of rowing a boat this time, we flew down from with Thor. <laughs> I, to me, when during this fight, it felt like they were telling us, like, these Norse gods are just super strong. Yeah. Like, you know, I actually did boot up the original God of War a couple of days ago, because, like, as of right now, I'm just so hyper-focused on God of War. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go back from the very beginning. And Kratos feels like he uh, he just overpowers everybody for the most yeah. part. Where this one, it's like, these Norse gods are strong. Like, they can go with Kratos. Yeah. Oh. Like, he's not even fighting you with the hammer right now. It's just all fist. Oh, I thought I timed that well. Oh well. And Courageous just looks so small compared to yeah. him. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah, that's like the thing is, like in, yeah, the other God of Wars, even the, like the result, there is size differences. Yeah. But it seems like Kratos is so much stronger. Right. Gotta wait to either get away or time it right. I love how he knows so much about Kratos too. Yeah. Talks about his blades, talks about the ghost of Sparta. Yeah, well, I think it's it's interesting because like how much info did Baldir find out and share? Yeah. You know? Right. Uh, but like I mean, I also remember like the uh, the the Hydra fight in the first God of War. Oh, I just did that. Yeah, yeah. like on the boat where yep. you're like slamming him down on the mast, yep. broken mast. Yeah, it was such a cool fight. That was cool. Um, and then it's like it, it's nice that like you look at the pedigree of the God of War games, and the boss fights have always been something that they've uh, been able to do a great job on. Right. If you're not fighting dirty, you're not fighting. Right? Oh. Yeah, let's fight dirty. <laughs> Hit him. Yes, this is spoiler free. We are just playing the first two hours of the story, and we're not talking about anything more after after that. Well, we have both finished the game, but yeah, we're not giving any spoilers away. Yeah, we want everyone to experience it for themselves. Yep. <laughs> I just love how he just taunts Kratos throughout this yeah, whole entire time. Dumbass. Yeah. I actually really like this part too. Yeah. So like I'm holding. Right. Like what? You died. <laughs> this right here. Yeah. Was so freaking epic. <laughs> like what? I was like, good. They got me. Yeah. Like I actually remember like, oh cool, I now have an opportunity to like sit up and take a drink. Right. <laughs> of my mead. <laughs> Oh, 
It's like right there to show you what type of badass Thor is. Like yeah. the dude revived you just to get up and fight again. Oh, too early. And they just they kept go they kept leaning into it, right? They give you the loading screen. Like, yeah, <laughs> that that was cool. Twitch is at it again, I see. Cool, cool. <laughs> oh, do we, we drop or? Yeah, did we drop for a second. Apparently we're back now. Twitch did this to us on Extra Life too. It's like, okay, cool. Then we get that epic scene that we saw in the trailer. Yeah. And this, just taking the, uh, the trailer and then just one-upping. Right, the yeah. Spectacle of it. Yep. Oh, that's the wrong button. So was that. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> How are you all doing again? Have a great weekend, Mark. See you next week. I always love these boss fights where it just like keeps going on in different stages. Yeah. Right? It's like, oh, I'm, am I done yet? No, you, you still have to fight. He's yeah. not done with you yet. Yeah, and what, what's also cool is the way that they did it in this one is it's similar to The Stranger where you're, like the health bars refill. Yeah, you know? yeah. Reminds me of a multi-phase MMO raid boss. Yeah, right? Like, it just kind of just keeps going. But it never overstays its welcome. Right? Like, you, you kind of just want to keep fighting Thor. <laughs> yeah, like this is the whole game. Yeah. Like, let's go fight in a different realm. Yeah, right. <laughs> All the way till Ragnarok. <laughs> also, I, like, specifically in this fight, like, have a rule to not use Spartan Rage. Mm. Interesting. So, like, not showing the true strength against an enemy that you're not going to kill. Right. <laughs> That right there. The music starts pounding. There he is. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Yeah. Got a dad joke in chat. Consider your blood debt paid. Yeah, as soon as he mentioned Atreus, right? That's when he went he went full Kratos mode. <laughs> Now in 2018, you know, Kratos was like really beaten up from Baldur, right? He's dragging the axe back to the cottage. Yeah. Um, this one, he's kind of holding it aside, but he's like, all right, we need to get back home ASAP. Yeah. And Brock and Sindri in this game, if you love them from the first game, you're just gonna love them even more in the second game. Like, yeah, you learn more about them, you have more interactions with them. Like, they're, I, 
I just love the whole cast of characters they have. Yeah. Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got a I never get tired of this fast travel. Yeah. Right? Like, it's just, I don't know what, it, it's always just satisfying just to go in the Yggdrasil little tree and go from realm to realm. Let's, uh, let's mess with Brock here. Oh, does he say something? Usually. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. You know some players are going to want to go over there, right? And then yeah. For them to have that dialogue, that's cool. And then back home where a lot of, a lot of bad things keep happening in his house. Yeah. You know? But I mean, look at like the runes on the... Yeah. See, like... What's it say? Don't know. I don't either. Yeah, is Tim still here? Maybe he'll talk. Tim, do you know what the runes say <laughs> next to the door? <laughs> Brother! I've literally been holding this thing the whole time. Yeah, you have. I, I've committed at this point. You know, I can't really put it down now. Yeah. I do like this. He's like, oh, it's time to get the, uh... Pay for the roof. Yeah. <laughs> he invited me to Asgard. Oh, be sure to drink your, your oval team. That makes Got sense. Yeah. That makes sense. That fits yeah. the lore. Yep. you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Well, thank you for playing Days Gone. Let me show you what I found. Glad you enjoyed it. We haven't seen the last of Odin. Did you finish it on console or PC? And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. Or Steam Deck. PS4, PS5, PC. It's everywhere now. <laughs> yeah, on the Steam Deck you can basically take it anywhere you want. Yeah. You could literally be in the middle of the woods playing Days Gone. PS5. Nice, nice. You can go to Crater Lake. You could. And then you could ride around in Crater yeah. Lake. Something I really want to do. You know. I've only ever been to Crater Lake in the winter. Really? Yep. Never been in the summer. No way. But I've seen pictures of uh, where we set up and we made uh, igloos. <laughs> we camped out in the igloos no, in the snow. That's super cool. Yep. And when we got to like the rim, uh, apparently we were like four feet on a snow shelf out over the rim. So if that would have gave way, we would have went all the way down oh into... Oh my gosh. That's terrifying. Because <laughs> it is quite a drop at yeah. Crater Lake. Is the PS5 two years almost? Yeah. Holy crap. That's insane. Yeah, I got my... Yeah. Yeah, because I got my PS5 before I even joined the studio. I remember uh, having FedEx ship it to or bring it to me i was just waiting at my front door like the whole entire time because like, come on fedex just bring it <laughs> I, I need i need to play it it's just a little a little taste of the of the menu here of different type of armor your weapons your stats which i love from 2018 and i feel like they just just made even more this this time around yeah Oh, Zaz, you got yours one month after launch? Nice. Go. So 
So usually, usually during these Friday night streams, I'm starving at this point. But I got some got some food at the studio meeting, so that was yeah. nice. Yeah, Susan helped you out. Yeah. So now I don't know. Like, do I do I grab dinner afterwards? Uh, you know. <laughs> I think that's going to come down to what uh, what your wife says. Well, yeah. Going. Good. Good. <laughs> if you got to bring dinner home for the kids or something. It's. Well, they, they usually eat, like, early. Okay. So I usually never eat this late, but the Friday nights are when I eat after this because I chose to stream at dinner time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the guy who sets the schedule. Yep, exactly. I screwed my own self. <laughs> now, I got the, the Jotnar edition, what was it, yesterday or the day before? No, Wednesday. And see, time is just a void anymore. Yeah. And in the collector's edition, there's an additional armor outfit that's not part of the the digital deluxe edition. Yeah. So it's like the it's all white. It's called, I think it's called Snowden armor or some snow some type of snow armor. But it looks really cool just seeing Kratos in all like white armor. Yeah. I immediately redeemed it and put it on him. Like I gotta check this out. Because I think the, the armors in Ragnarok are even better than the ones in 2018. Like, I like the styles to them. I, like, some of you could say they're similar to 2018, but I feel like they went more into, like, the Norse with these ones. Like, there's some yeah. with, like, ravens in the front, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, uh, and there's one with, like, boars on the front. Yeah. And I used that one for a while. Oh, nice. Look closer. Hellraiders now? Doing this. I suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. Yeah, probably. No enemy of my enemy. Can you knock that person down, or are they just stuck up there? Oh, look at that. I don't know if I did that. I don't think I did. Also, super cool that you can just do that. <laughs> yep. Like, it's something that most people are just going to, like, walk by and just, like, okay. Too bad you can't ask that guy, what's up, how's it hanging? <laughs> well, the reason why you can't ask him that is because he's actually a hell raider and not a, uh, he's no longer human. He's died. You come back. And then we just saw someone get them, their bloody Just ripped them away. Dragged. Yep. yep. And look, though, if you follow it, you are rewarded for exploring by a treasure chest. See, and that's exactly what I felt like the entire game is if you see somewhere, go explore it. Explore it because you're going to get rewarded. Yeah. And that just made exploring so much more fun. I think you got booped. I got, oh, booped? Oh, in chat. Boop. Hi. Hi, Tiger Lizzie. How are you? Welcome. We are playing some God of War Ragnarok, and I've been holding this Leviathan Axe the entire stream. And at this point, I cannot put it down. <laughs> I may just take it. Like I said, just go to Nick and say, sorry, man, this is mine now. Sorry. If, if you wanted it, you should have been on stream, right? Yeah. You know? I really want these Blades of Chaos, not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's super yeah. cool. But the Jotnar edition, it came with... Um, did you get a 2018 collector's edition? I did not. Oh, really? So it's kind of cohesive as well, just like the game, where you, you get this mat, this cloth map that you also got in 2018. Mm -hmm. And in 2018, the map... I, th I think it was the map that gave a code to... Um, go to a certain spot and do something with the controller, like left, right, square, blah, blah, blah. And it gave, granted Kratos with like an infinity zone type thing. So I'm curious if this map is the same thing and if no one has found it yet. Um, you know, because we have players that decipher runes and stuff. Right. Uh, so I'm just curious if someone's, if another secret has been hidden in the map. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Right. And it's one of those things where you hope that QA gets told about that because 
Otherwise, you're like, wait, you can do what? Yeah. <laughs> I remember doing the code after it was like finally discovered. Of course, I didn't figure it out, but yeah, just went on a website and I think it was. I forget what they what they called them enchantments in 2018, I believe. And ever since I got that, like that's what I used in like New Game Plus and stuff like that. Like I was saying, here was an ally to the giant. So he'd be on our side. He had to close the door. And if anyone might know who arms the D, it's him. Oh, you had to put it back, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sorry. The perks of playing it again. <laughs> I forgot already. <laughs> forgot that quickly. I binged it for however many days. Yeah. I did hear that about the zoo. <laughs> Coming in with the dad jokes. Coming in hot with the dad jokes. I, I respect it. Thank you for entertaining us with your jokes. <laughs> Flame whiplash. Yeah, see, it doesn't hit them. That's all I got. When you start making it on fire or whatever. Yeah. I like the, the charging up uh, with your weapons. I always also kind of forget to do it sometimes. Yeah, hit him with the tree. Send him across there. You just had a home run. Yeah. A Viking home run. Well, I think the Vikings play football, so I think it'd be a field goal. That works too. Whatever that sports ball stuff is, you know? Or I guess on some level, you could say it was maybe a reference to um, Mighty Ducks 2. Because they play ice hockey against the Vikings. Those are the big bad guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dog. There's that one sneaking up there. Yeah. Okay. Trace can finish that one. What's your favorite weapon to use? Is it the Chaos Blades or is it the Leviathan Axe? Um, honestly, I like just punching in shield. Yeah? It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. It is and fun. I'm just straight, yeah, kicking people. Spartan kicks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would be great. Like, I probably could have kicked that guy off the edge here and done some sort of a yell. Yeah. You know? And said, this is 300? Yeah. Yeah, I know. No, this is Sparta. But I would say, <laughs> this is Midgard! <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> what is up, Aaron Baron? Welcome back. You got the physical collector's edition? Nice. You better go grab it. <laughs> Yozer, yes, this is our QA manager, Paul McFadden, here at Ben Studio. He was on previously, earlier in the year, when we uh, played Horizon Forbidden West when, it, when that game launched. So he has now rejoined us for another PlayStation Studios game, God of War Ragnarok. Yeah, pretty much anyone that I will be bringing on for these streams will be from Ben Studio. Unless, like, I bring in my dog or something. Which I don't think I can do that. Probably not. But it'd be cool just have my dog just sit there the entire time. It would not do that. No. No, it's got too much energy. Well, maybe my, my one, uh, her name's Pepper. She's gotten a little chubby over the years. <laughs> she might just sit there. She's getting to that, that old dog age. Yep, that, and she just sits underneath my son while he eats. So he, oh, okay. he drops something, she eats it yeah, immediately. Yeah, gotcha. So Pepper's got the dad bod. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You gonna finish that? You can just drop it down Yep. <laughs> yeah, my two dogs. I have two mini Australian Shepherds. And so they're adorable. It's, it's really hard to get them to sit still. <laughs> Like, Australian Shepherds are some of the cutest dogs. My my puppy that we got last year, who is now a year old, uh, or we've had her for a year, um, she's got Aussie in her. 
Yeah. Uh, but she's got a few other things. But she's the wild one where it's like she just will not calm down whatsoever. Yeah. My dogs definitely do. Um, they also know, like, I'll pull out the blanket and set it on the couch next to me. And then it's just like, all right, it's cuddle time with dad. He's yeah. going to do whatever. <laughs> so... Not gonna lie, my arms getting uh, getting a little tired. Yeah, <laughs> I love this part right here too. Where you just get yanked off there. Oh yeah, brings you back to the, you know, when they took that <laughs> enemy away the first time. Yeah, and then this, like, just <laughs> being under the legs. Yeah. PlayStation fan, the best. I agree. I agree. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I I would probably choose um, Leviathan X as my favorite. Uh, yeah, like I love switching it up, but the Leviathan X, like I don't know, it's I love being able to throw it, and it's it's just got everything to it. Um, I got the I got the Yotnar edition. I uh, pre-ordered that when it f first went live. So here's my my Mjolnir that I brought from home, part of the Yotnar edition. I love this thing. It sits proudly on my dresser at home. It's super detailed. I'm probably gonna walk around Ben with it all the time. <laughs> Just go to the grocery store. Yeah. Put it in the little baby seat. <laughs> <laughs> this hammer means a lot to me. Yeah. Go over here and grab this. Just hit her in the head. This enemy is super cool. Like the fight, I yeah. The variety of enemies in this game, they they just went crazy with. Like there are so many different types of enemies. That's why they don't have my shield. Oh right. yeah, your shield broke. Get that Spartan rage going. Thor is awesome. We were talking about it, Thor, in the beginning of the game, that Thor is honestly my favorite Thor in all of media. Like, I just love how Ryan Hurst portrayed him. I love how he's written. Um, I love his look. It's just everything about him. It's really cool. Oh, uh, yes. And then, hey, this is, remember we gave you runes last Oh, yeah. Time? I got to use those. Got to put your runic attacks on. Which shield. it's broken. Ooh, it's broken. Broken guardian shield. Can't yeah. even use it. I I I'm happy that they still implemented some of the runics from twenty eighteen to this one. Yeah. So like the um I forget what frost giant, some where it's like you hold it like this and like a frost beam comes out. Yeah. I use that one all the time. It's yeah. always my main one. I always use the one where he like flips it around and then it's like just slams it so it's oh like yeah the anvil yep. i believe it's called um and just sends out the big ring because that way you just get into a group of enemies and then you can pick which one you want yeah and i use the my other one now is the one where he like holds up the leviathan x like this and it's just a, a whirlwind of like ice it, that one is like the coolest looking one yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of good frost damage to enemies yep so, and actually, if you do the right build, you can do a status effect increase to where when they are affected by immolation or affected by um, freeze, then they'll take more damage. Yeah, yep. So, that's kind of the nice thing about this is they do give you enough variety between everything that you can kind of make different builds. Yep. What was that uh, that line they put? I think it was from Game Informer. They had before launch is like, we want you to play with your food, and it's like they're giving you all of this. Like just go see what you like to do. Have fun with it. You know, there's really not one certain way to do it. Just enjoy doing it. it experiment with all these different types of uh, you know variety that they have in it. Yeah. Which that's what I was catching myself doing. I was trying, I was trying all kinds of different runics. I was, you know, different the combos and stuff. Like, you want to pay attention to your skill tree and actually, you know, 
once you unlock the skills, there's a lot of cool things, combo things to do um, that you want to pay attention to. There's just so much that went into the combat. Don't push me out of the way, boy. <laughs> uh, Treyas, you know, coming from 2018, he's really grew up a lot. Because um, you can tell in the very beginning of the story, there's, there's, um, there's some time that has passed that, you know, Kratos and Treyas has kind of been out doing their own thing. Um, but obviously, his, the big thing is his voice is completely different, right? He, he, he's, he's taller, he's kind of, you know, aiming to do his own thing. Um, yeah, it's got a good story, got a good yeah. story. This is Skull and Hottie. They chase the sun and the moon. But if you're a giant, there's a stone gate there. Which is cool, because well, how many of these do we like collect in 2018, yep. right? Yeah. And this is the one that we went back to, right? And this one we found in... This or, is the first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The first one that you would find, yes. yeah. Uh, Yozer, <laughs> with the theme, what what theme are you talking about? Are you talking about like the... The score. Yeah, are you talking about the score? Or are you talking about like the dynamic PS4 theme that you get with like the collector's edition? What is this, Lahati? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to I always enjoyed seeing, you know, collecting those things and now seeing story. this and just learning more about the God of War's game. Norse mythology. And, right. You remember the story of Skull and Hathi? The, the, the dynamic theme. Okay, uh, I actually haven't put it on my PS4, so I don't know. I don't know what it looks like, but I might go redeem it on my PS4 just so I can go get another platinum for God of War Ragnarok. You know, I didn't even think about that. I played on my PS4 first, and then... Well, I, I had the PS5 set up on the big screen, so... I haven't turned my PS4 on the on the PS5 on the big screen, yeah. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hathi's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. There's just so much story involved in this game, from the overall story right. to like these things, to the collectibles, to being in the boat with Mimir, and he's giving you more story. Like, yeah. it's just filled with the brim of just really good writing. Also, check out the poems that you collect throughout the game. Um, they're really cool. There's 14 of them. Collect all of them, because and pay attention to them. Yeah. Pay attention to the poems. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait. I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. It looks so cool. All the yeah. gold glitter and stuff. <laughs> Just want to go explore in there. So I'll I'll mention something to that to you afterwards because it's kind of spoilery um, of how it ties into old well, myth tales mm. from Norse. But uh, uh, as game developers, is it hard to play a game without also thinking about the work that went into creating a game? Um, I think you just have a deeper appreciation of what people did. Um, the other thing is, at least with Sony Studios, we talk to each other a lot, so we get to know each other, um, and it's kind of like you get more excited because you're like, my homies did this, and 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 so it's a fun, it's a difference. Yes, you do notice things, uh, but it's also pretty fun because you get to then go talk to your friends and be like, yo, what did you guys do for this? Because I thought that was really great, and they can talk about how difficult it was or how you know, what the story was and how they ended up coming to that solution and what made it in the game. Um, so it's it's kind of one of those of, yeah, you know how the sausage is made in some cases, but it doesn't take away, at least for me, um, the appreciation of games. 
centuries in helping me. Look, I talked him into it. Definitely being as QA, right? Like, so, I mean, you're used to experiencing a game, like, just watching for things that are wrong and stuff, right? You're, you're examining the game through and through, you yeah. know? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realm. But the weeding out? Sounds like a mine, aye. The realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Spark will find that's a good I would love to have a Mimir head just to carry everywhere. Yeah, it's got a little foam one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have freaker dummies. I could chop yeah. off one of its heads. And <laughs> that, that might With be another axe. level, yeah. <laughs> There's your TikTok short. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me, Paul. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> this way, lad. Even if we can figure out looking for Tia, how do you have us get the sparkle fight? You know. Every chest I came across in this game, I had to go and open it. Yeah. Like even these ones, which. Are just you know they're just giving you hex silver and stuff like that, yeah. but crafting resources. Yeah, yep. the red ones give you crafting resources, and then yeah, the uh, the gold ones will give you um, the other thing. Uh, just just hex silver. Yep. And then the Nornirs are what you can use to upgrade your health and your uh, uh, Spartan rage. Yep. Mimir's little quips are just the best. Not much. They stepped outside. You told us about it. I wouldn't worry. Well, there it is. About the things he did not tell us. And you don't need that anymore. Thank you. Dude, there's always just like there's something little somewhere all the time. Like yeah. I don't know, it's just so rewarding. Have you played all the old God of Wars? Um, I never finished three. Um, I, I actually now that I think about, it, I don't know if I actually. Uh, um, finished two. Um, oh, there it is. And there was two of them on the PSP, um, and I didn't. Right. I didn't play both of them. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm trying to go back now and start from the very, very beginning and just work my way up. I think like the first God of War, it doesn't take, two, I think it's only like eight hours or so, the story. Yeah. I just remember one part that I had trouble with in the game was uh, like you having to like climb these pillars that are like spinning with blades on them. Mm. And then there's another part where like you have to walk across some beams and the control stick like never worked at the right angle. So I kept dying a bunch, <laughs> um, and so then it all, you know it asked like, uh, do you want to drop it to easy? It's like no, the game. <laughs> yeah, it's not the combat's hard. It's just your traversal's hard. <laughs> well, that's the, how long do developers go on breaks? Honestly, man, it varies. Um, each person has you know different variations of what they need to recharge. Um, but in most cases, uh, studios are, you know, pretty good about like, yeah, go go take what you need. Um, so, like, I think after Days Gone, uh, we were given three weeks off. Uh, that we or basically three weeks of additional kind of PTO time. So that we could use. But yeah, there's also, as Dan said, depends on the IP. Because um, in some cases, like if you're, you know, releasing a, um, 
you know, like uh, MLB The Show, right? There's going to be constant updates for the right. baseball uh, throughout the season. So kind of your vacation time probably is when the baseball off season is also, right. you know, or you figure out, you know, what, what times you can. So, Which I was just at San Diego Studio uh, last month and walking around that studio and seeing all their baseball stuff. It was so cool. Like I, I played baseball from when I was uh, five years old all the way up to like my freshman year of college, and so I was like a huge baseball nerd. Um, and then going to their studio and seeing just all this baseball stuff everywhere like brought me back. And they had like just you know all the jerseys lined up of all their cover athletes. And San Diego Studio, they they really do it. They do MLB the Show very very well and uh, how they support that game like. I always enjoyed and will be the show playing it. Yeah. I just have a hard time fundamentally with baseball games. It can be hard. To well, I, yeah, because I'm not going to sit there and take pitches. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I'm not going to do it. Sorry. So like this, too. Like, look at this. This is a beautiful area. Yep. Uh, just, you know, like, man. I mean, you can see, like, all of the detail on the sides here and... And if you go back, if you go, I don't know if it will let you. The, okay. game, the, the game is controlling me now. So when you go back out, you can go behind the gate and look down. Yeah. And you'll see stuff like. Yeah. Which they showed this in the trailer, this whole. But yeah. you didn't, we didn't know what it was. Right. You know? Like, yeah, was this the Temple of Tear? Yeah. Just grown over from Thimble Winter? I love that. Anybody need a snack? Crazy yeah. snack? <laughs> I don't need a snack. <laughs> I've never seen that documentary. Baseball is fun to play. Not really fun to watch. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it can be. It can be. When you're there yeah. at a stadium, yeah. it's, it's a whole different game. But also, like, when it's on in the background, um, at, like, home, you can, you know, like, if you're doing stuff around the house, you don't really have to pay attention until you hear the crack of the bat. Right. And then you're like, oh, what happened? Yeah. Oh, fly ball. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's a wonderful background sport. Right. Brock. <laughs> Which is crazy. So after 2018, you know, they haven't seen each other. Yeah. So it's it's because basically they went back into doing their training. Yeah. And uh, I mean, obviously they were trying to avoid Freya. Yeah. Uh, She's been on a mission. Yeah. <laughs> I love this dialogue so yeah. much. <laughs> mm, busted up good. Mm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? This is seriously some of my favorite stuff, is just going through the different armor, figuring out which ones I want to craft. Did you do Dauntless or did you do Stonewall? I think I did Dauntless. Okay. Stonewall was one of the final shields I had to craft to get that trophy. Yeah. As soon as I crafted it, it went boop. Oh, no. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I'm like, I could have had this trophy hours ago. <laughs> yes. You could have. I do not have any God of War Funko Pops, unfortunately. Uh, ironically, Nick does. He said we could have put one down here. Oh, really? Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't go get it, so oh. that's on you. I mean, we have quite a bit of. Props I know. Though. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. <laughs> there comes a point where you have too many props. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, let's see. We have uh, next week stream, and then we're off for Thanksgiving, 
and then I think I only have I I think there are only a total of four streams left until the end of the year, which yeah. is wild to me. Yeah, you know. So by the time we get back from break, we would have been streaming on this channel for a full year in January when it hits. And funny enough, our very first stream on the channel was God of War on PC. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes, 2022 has went by incredibly fast. And then this one was a, this right here is like was kind of a response to 2018 where you would knock enemies off a cliff. And then you, they, they would drop yep. the resources and you wouldn't be able to get it. So this way, the dwarves just pick it up for you. Yep. And then they just grab it. Which, there was a menu in... Yeah, menu, you could right, still get you it. You could get it. But now they added the chest to it, right? Yeah. Which, which is cool. And it'll light up too. Uh, like blue and yeah, stuff. Blue. Yep. Yeah, blue. I like that. That also works for, you know, doing DLC drops. Yep. I assume that's where you went to get the uh, collector's armor. Yep. Well, that Darkdale, that's, uh, that comes from the Digital Deluxe Edition. Yeah. So that's the whole outfit you get if you got the Digital Deluxe version. Are they back outside? You get them all. They, they want to give you all your equipment first. Oh, and then you, there's the oh, one. Okay. So the, that's, that is from the Collector's Edition, is the Risen Snow. Yozer, have a great weekend. Thank you all. Thank you for always coming by. There you go. We'll put it all on just for you. Right? Isn't it cool? Having the all white? Yeah. I love it. I didn't know you got an additional, uh, you know, one for in... Um, oh, look at that. Even Atreus has it. Too. Yeah. Super cool. I love it. I also, I also loved how we get to see their characters up close and they kind of step forward. Atreus comes back up, you know. Yeah. It's very pleasing. All right, there. We went into the menu. There we go. The snow armor. It's beautiful. Hey, come see. Come see. Finding everything all right, I hope. See that thing just flew by? Yep. <laughs> How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. They should, somewhere in the world, should recreate Sindri's house and make it like a bed and breakfast or something. Yeah. Right? I would. Do you want to sleep in the broom closet? Yes. He's a cousin of ours. Works for the city on safety issues. And then have like Mimir's head in there. Like this is a this is a huge idea I have right now. Yeah. Santa Monica, if you're listening. <laughs> Find somewhere in Norway or something. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Partner up with some type of bed and breakfast. Crate Sindri's house. Have people that can just stay in there for a weekend. See, Dakota? See? <laughs> I knew you were watching. There you go. <laughs> Bring it up the chain. <laughs> you can have full credit, Dakota. You can have full credit for it. That'd be so cool. I would so say it there. You have little props. You have... The Blades of Chaos hanging out somewhere on the wall. You yeah. have Mimir's, uh, a fake Mimir's head, not a real head. Right, you know? yeah. yeah. You have that sitting on like a coffee table or something like that. I mean, even just books like this that are exactly. all... Exactly, like, yep. Make them all Norse mythology and like some dwarven stuff. Like, yep. I mean. Sindri's in tree. Yes. <laughs> See? We, gotta, we have ideas cooking now. This is This is it. <laughs> Yeah, Tim's even talent. still here too. Yep. Right. <laughs> well, Insomniac Games, they were playing God of War Ragnarok on Wednesday on their weekly stream. Yeah. So I was popping in there and I was watching them play. And they were doing the same thing. It started from the very beginning, played the first two hours. I was watching them when they were fighting uh, Thor. Okay. I have had eggnog. I don't know if I like it anymore. Uh, I'm fine with it. It's like it's a if, thing. If I go to someone's house and they uh, they serve it, I won't like be appalled. Yeah. Or like you know, yeah. What yeah. are you doing? What's wrong with you? Right. I'll probably ask for some brandy or some whiskey to put yeah. into it. Yeah. Um, but it is also one of those things that like it is pretty thick. 
you know? Yeah. And it, uh, it's definitely one of those, like, because you, you came from back east where it's very hot and humid. Right. There's no way you want eggnog in the middle of the summer. <laughs> yeah. Right? I do want to try so. eggnog being out here now because I feel like it might go with the vibe. <laughs> yeah. It's Fimble Winter. Yeah. Warm. Yeah. Yeah. Also, shout out to Mushroom Dude right here. What are these mushroom guys? I see <laughs> them throughout. Yeah. And I always looked at them like, what the hell are they? They're just little mushroom dudes, man. Yeah. And you see multiples of them. Yeah. They're, I mean, a little bit, they're kind of unsettling, right? Yeah. But they're also really cool. They're so, far, I can't tell how big so you got the dragons down there. If you know your Norse mythology, you'll know what dragon that is. Yeah. Also, what are you doing? can't hit it. <laughs> I love how it has a dialogue for that. That's great. I did not try to throw it when I did it. Okay. No, I'll, yeah. I respected the dragon space. Yeah. We'll just need to buy frost and pet. Things that are made, uh, made of that much concentrated egg freak me out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's borderline like cottage cheese yeah. that you're drinking. <laughs> Now I'm just talking myself out of never wanting to get <laughs> eggnog. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not really a thing in Ireland. Really interesting. Shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, you stunning bastard. I love how they just use Mimir as like a tool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we, after, you know, we got him his other eye. We had to go inside Jormungandr to yeah. get him his other eye. Yep. Yeah. I remember that going inside. Of it. That was so cool. Gosh. If you had a choice of Leviathan Axe or Thor's Hammer, what would you choose? Uh, that's a good one. Uh, I would take the Leviathan Axe. Yeah. I am much more of a fan of ice based attacks. Yeah. Like, Iceman's my favorite superhero. Really? Yeah. I've uh, never heard one person say that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Like being able to control ice. I mean, think about it. You like, your drink temperature is always going to be what you want it to be. Yeah. Uh, if someone's super messing with you when they go to walk away, you can just make a little ice under them so they slip and fall. That, that would be hilarious. <laughs> right. Instead, with Thor's hammer, you just say electrocute him. Yeah. Yeah. Might be a little bit more savage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think you can be just a little more um, of a subtle trickster. Yeah. With ice powers. So, Loki. Yeah. With a Leviathan X, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, as we've seen, I mean, turning into a bear, too, would also be like someone crosses the line. You're just like, yeah. oh, okay. It's bear, bear form time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to see a bear, yeah. a bear running up the steps <laughs> of the studio. <laughs> oh, damn. Kevin's pissed again. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, they'd ask me to pick you up and put you in the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> Since that's what I did with the Rager Bear. <laughs> Remember you telling me that. You are our dedicated bear wrangler. <laughs> I'll have to ask Susan if she has any pictures from that. That would be great. I would love to see them. I can't get over the snow chest thing i don't know what it is i just love the look i don't remember any white outfits in 2018 yeah do you want to come with us oh i might drop in but the wetland and like you know with just the old uh the old god of war it was he never wore any type of armor well besides that one time he was sitting on the throne right yeah but other than that he was usually just bareback yep yep no more spinning travel yeah. I mean, it's still the same Yggdrasil tree that was in 2018 where you go through a door and you can go to Realm to Realm, but um, yeah, not the uh, not the other way. Yeah, the, basically you upgraded uh, Sindri and Brock's tunnel passageway. Yeah. Which is good because, you know, obviously Odin destroyed the Lake of the Nine. Yep. And then you can cruise the boat on down the river a little bit, and that's gonna end. That's gonna end us tonight. All right, we got wretches first. Show off this new little, this new realm here. Okay, on the record, I hate these little guys. <laughs> yep, they're the worst. <laughs> they are the worst. <laughs> they're like the 
I mean, it's like in days gone, the criers. Actually, actually, I can't stand them. I think I th actually I, th I think the nightmares are worse. Yeah. Especially some of the ones that like will just show up and just explode on you. Right. Right. Yeah. They'll take away like half your health bar, man. Yeah, the nightmares always piss me off. That's for sure. The wretches are just, they're like one, they're uh, annoying ants in your pants. Yeah. Like, they're just there, right? You just... I got the boat free, though. All right, here we go. Into the water. I mean, they look like cute little guys, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> and this is the first time we got the boat, right? First time we're going in a boat? Yeah, because yeah. you, uh, instead, you, you do the dog sled running with the uh, the elk when you're trying to get back into yeah. your, uh, your place. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Avangar wetlands. Oh, look at those. See those things jumping across? The enemies? I don't think I, re I remember seeing that last time. Oh, yeah. Don't even get yeah, started on the snipers, Dan. Over. Yeah. No snipers in days gone, can I tell you? Yeah, go ahead, man. <laughs> They were something. Yeah. American slampers, all of them. <laughs> You're just like, oh man, I just wrecked my bike. Yep. Let me tune it up and then, all right, cool, let's go somewhere. Bing. <laughs> You're just like, oh, God, I don't have any more scrap. I'm going to push this back to Iron Mikes. The graphics are amazing. I mean, it's. it's I mean, you can choose between performance, fidelity. We actually have this running on uh, performance right now, so it's uh, the 60 frames per second. Um, I That's what I played it on, performance. What did you play yeah, it on? Yeah, that's what I played it yeah. on, too. But, yeah, it looks incredible. The different varieties of realms that you go to, each one is very unique. And, I mean, if you see the water here, it's just it's beautiful. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it is, it's 7 o'clock already. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> you can believe that. <laughs> I feel like we've been playing this game for two hours. It does, kind of. Yeah. My arm is a little it stiff from getting holding a little sore. this axe yeah. the whole time. So, everyone, <laughs> thank you all for joining us today. It was fun. Yep. Dakota Tim from Santa Monica, thank you for coming in and watching us. Uh, and all the famili familiar faces or names, faces, names, same thing. Thank you always yeah. for coming on every Friday. It was a lot of fun. Um, next week, uh, I th we're going to be playing Santa, uh, God of War Ragnarok again, probably. Because why not? <laughs> so we have one more stream next week, playing God of War Ragnarok. And then <laughs> we will be off the week after that due to Thanksgiving, which I've taken the whole week off. Have you? No. Nope. Uh, I didn't do it last year, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to treat myself. You're going to treat yourself. Yeah. So thank you all. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a great weekend. <laughs> yeah. And see you later. Appreciate everyone coming out. Yes. Bye.